I think I have questions. Hey, by the way, you get a hat for us putting on this guy. So. It's a bridge track, yeah, it's a one-off bridge track, uh, Witty on the Sky Change, which came out five weeks ago. And, uh, we're actually not gonna play tonight, that's because we've decided we're gonna try to wait until we can do it with Ben for the first time. <laughs> Glad you're understanding about that. Uh, but it's now like about to be top 10 at radio. That has nothing to do with the fact that Brittany Benjamin died. <laughs> And we will ride their coattails all the way. <laughs> and uh, that song was actually at the top of the Spotify metal playlist last week, which is very weird that we're doing this now for next week. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's a bridge track. Um, the next album will be its own thing. What else? So. so that song was featuring Breaking Benjamin, not just Ben. Yeah. How did that um, numerous ways. I actually wrote that song years ago with Jason, who was in Breaking Benjamin. So that's the first uh, element. And he actually helped on um, some of the guitars on the album, uh, on that song, sorry. And um, we actually, you know, Ben recorded the vocal at the top of the tour. And then during the tour, we had Joe out, uh, who was helping us produce it. And he set up his rig every day, and we would uh, work on it, and Jason would come in, and sometimes some of the other guys would uh, come in and, you know, discuss. But another element is that when writing, I wrote a ton of songs trying to get something that would have those two vibes together, the star set and break the Benjamin vibe. And some of those songs will actually be potentially on the next album, because they, they didn't quite work for that, but they're perfect for the next album. But uh, eventually realized that the song that I already had in the can was perfect that it could be produced to um, sort of meld the two sounds of both bands together. So it was, it was the fact that they were involved, but also that their sound was considered in the production. What's up? Not really for music, uh, but in life, yeah, uh, I can get into that. But in music, no, I was like the guy that got kicked out of band. <laughs> I was not, I guarantee I was not in the top 50 considered that would like go on to have a career in music. I did drum, I played drums. Tell your simple story. <laughs> okay, the simple story is I was going into high school and I tested I think it was, you know, 30 percussionists, 40, and we had a very large marching band. And I tested like number four going into freshman year. So you think you'd be on the snare line doing fun stuff? No. They were like, well, we don't have enough cymbalists. So we're going to have the oboe players play cymbals. And you're going to be the guy that helps them play cymbals. <laughs> so I did marching cymbals the whole year. And they were like, I was small. I was like this tall freshman year. I think you made it. I'm like low budget school. These things, I don't know if they were this big, they felt this large. And it was, yeah, that was, uh, that sucked. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I got kicked out of band because anytime it said like triple forte, and they bring musicians in. No, I think El Cid has a triple or a quadruple forte. And that was a numerous other times. I mean, I'm, that's quadruple forte. I'm going for it. I got kicked out. I must have had too many fortes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, teachers, though, I was uh, growing up, I had numerous ones that uh, were super inspiring. The school to me was an escape sometimes. And I had, uh, this, looking back, it must have been somewhat um, emotive or something. And they could, they, they sort of, helped me uh, in numerous ways, but also like uh, helped push me like to learn things beyond you know the, the coursework. I wrote a little book when I was in third grade, and my teacher helped me bind it and put it into some uh, uh, competition. But yeah, along the way, all the way even to university, I had a 
brilliant professor that helped um, push me to do crazier and crazier things. So teachers are awesome. Okay. This song's